Greetings. This is an important earthquake watch for the Pacific Northwest for April 2025 due to significant planetary geometries that are converging which indicate the potential for a 7 magnitude or greater earthquake event for the Seattle region or the Cascadia subduction zone. We're now looking at the important planetary geometries that will be taking place March into April 2025 that may indicate a very large earthquake event in a populated area. If we note the orbital positions of Venus and Mercury will be moving in sync with the Earth and holding a long duration alignment primarily right through the month of March into April. If we have a look behind the Sun we have Neptune and Saturn also linking into this planetary configuration and geometry. But the important aspect is that in the month of April we have a very powerful influence of Uranus which will be kicking in and will be forming a very strong aspect into the node and I'm concerned that this may indicate a potential large earthquake event in a populated region which may have a fair amount of damage and a loss of life associated. Now this forecast will be using astrocartography which maps the planets to the Earth geodetically and we're going to be focusing on Uranus as it's moving across the Pacific Northwest in the coming few years. Now we've already seen very strong earthquakes offshore Northern California as well as Vancouver Island and the Queen Charlotte Islands and pretty strong earthquakes greater than 6 magnitude and this trend should continue as the Uranus motion and movement now starts to extend across Cascadia into the Seattle region in 2024 and 2026 and I'm concerned that this may represent a very strong earthquake event land based in the coming year. And that carefully plotted the Uranus stations that I'm concerned with of August of 2024 and also February of 2026 are marking their geolocation on the Earth. And note it's just west of Seattle and it runs through Olympia and Tacoma as well as further south around just west of San Francisco as well. So there's a fair amount of danger associated with both of these stations and the main reason why I'm focusing on the Uranus stations as the planets of Uranus, Neptune and also to a lesser extent Pluto these retrograde stations do have a history of very strong earthquakes and specifically doublet earthquakes and major events at that. We're now focusing on the region of Turkey which experienced two major earthquakes in 2023 on the same day, a 7.8 and 7.5 magnitude earthquake which had a substantial loss of life and damage associated. Now we note the position of Uranus, the MC of Uranus which is the direct overhead position and we had Uranus stations in 2019 and 2021 marking these future earthquakes to come and that's why I'm concerned with the upcoming series of Uranus stations in 2024 and 2026 that may represent a similar theme. When I'm looking at 2012 there were two major earthquakes on the same day an 8.6 and 8.2 magnitude can be attributed to the Pluto stations of 2009 and 2010 marking the exact epicenter of the future earthquakes to come. Now I have made a series of videos on the SolarWatcher.net and QuakeWatcher.com websites regarding the planetary stations of Uranus, Neptune as well as Pluto and their symmetry with major earthquakes as well as the doublet earthquake phenomenon as well. And that information will be found on the website for those interested. The planetary retrograde represents a time dilation of the time-space continuum. Each single retrograde loop is a new fold of space-time representing a new dimensional space-time entity. Time is a relative construct when viewed through the prism of temporal dynamics. Planetary retrograde as viewed from the Earth introduce a decoherence within our linear time matrix. But we are told that what we see is an illusion with the heliocentric model which is merely a construct and byproduct of a linear perception that fails to account for perfect planetary movements. We are now going to be looking at the motion and movement of Uranus as it moves across the Pacific Northwest in 2024 and it will be an echo of what's to come. We are going to animate the software and we are going to be watching Uranus moving in its normal motion and then begin to slow down and station and then turn retrograde. And they are going to pause it right when it makes its station across the Pacific Northwest longitudinally. So there is the station of Uranus we can see on the chart on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we can actually see the longitude line of Uranus marking the location on the Earth just west of Seattle. Now note its geolocation very close to the house which is actually the 4.5 magnitude earthquake that just struck on the 3rd of March 2025, the San Juan Islands, Washington region. Now this geolocation on the Earth is quite powerful as we can see it's just west of Seattle and it's also just west of San Francisco as Seattle and San Francisco sit on the same longitude line on the Earth. I'm concerned that this station of Uranus may be an indication of a major earthquake to come. I'm specifically looking at the month of April 2025 as the most significant for a major event and potentially greater than 7 magnitude. 
We're now looking at the 29th of August 2024 a little bit more closely and looking at the planetary geometries that are taking place at the same time of this Uranus station. Now this is the first contact of the Uranus station and we note that we have very powerful planetary geometries in play and a very significant planetary opposition between Neptune and Venus taking place while connected in square aspect with Mars. So that is a very significant T-square forming at the same time of the Uranus station. And I do feel that the connection between Neptune and Venus is significant and we get this reconnection in April 2025 and it may indicate a potential release and a major earthquake event for the region. Now I've added the extra harmonics into the map here. We can actually see convergence of the planets with their ascending node. And this is the Uranus and also the Neptune and Venus aspect all linked in and forming a convergence very near the Seattle region. And this is my concern. We have a very powerful station marking a geolocation on the Earth, a very significant planetary alignment that has a history with an earthquake in the Seattle region, and that is Venus and Neptune. I'll show this shortly. We also have a square aspect this is the 29th of August 2024 involving Jupiter as well. So there's a very powerful time frame and it's a foreshadow of an event to come. We're now looking at a reconvergence of the planets that were involved previously in the month of August and September of 2024. And we get to see this late March 2025 and also into April. Now importantly this is the first connection and conjunction between Venus and Neptune. We can see that Venus is retrograding through this alignment and it will be making another connection and conjunction early in May. But importantly, we have a very strong Mars interacting with the North Node. That will be strongest on the 9th and 10th of April. And then we get Uranus making the same connection with the South Node, a very powerful connection and amplification mid-April. And that's a time frame that I'm concerned with. And this is due to Uranus being highly amplified as it's connected perfectly into the South Node within half a degree of separation and we'll be making a perfect connection the following day. So this is the time frame that I'm concerned with. Now the month of April we have a very strong Mars into the opposite node, the North Node. Uranus then follows and then we get the powerful conjunction of Venus and Neptune kicking in on the 3rd of May 2025. We have a very strong Uranus in the month of April 2025 as it's squaring into the South Node. But in 2026 we have another station of Uranus to consider as it stations in February of 2026. And we get a very strong Uranus as it moves into square aspect with both nodes in June of that year. So the two time frames to watch will be April 2025 for a major event and to a slightly lesser extent the period of June 2026 also represents a strong risk for a major earthquake event for the Pacific Northwest. We're now going to look at some past earthquakes that affected the Pacific Northwest and look at the planetary geometries that were in play with astrocartography. Now going back to 1947 where we had a very interesting station, this time of Jupiter, focused just west of the Seattle region. Note the position of Jupiter above on the MC and we had a very strong planetary geometry with Mars squaring into both nodes at the time of this time frame where Jupiter made its station. Now just two years later we had a very powerful earthquake in 1949, in April, a magnitude 6.7 earthquake struck Olympia and we note that Jupiter's ascending node was moving across the region just as this earthquake took place. We're now moving ahead to 1962 in the month of October where this time we have a very powerful station of Venus marking the same geolocation on the Earth just west of the Seattle region. Note that on this day of the Venus station, Saturn is connected and conjoining the south node. We also have the Sun connected into both nodes as well. So a very powerful time frame in the month of October of 1962. And just two and a half years later, we have a very powerful 6.7 magnitude earthquake striking the Puget Sound region. A very powerful earthquake and we note that Saturn is connected hard aspected into both nodes. Now going right back to 1698, just two years prior to the major Cascadia earthquake, that rocked the region magnitude 9 with a very powerful tsunami associated that was felt right across the globe. In the month of March of 1698, Jupiter made its station very close to Olympia, noticed geolocation on the Earth, and the major planetary dynamics and geometries are in play on this day. And we see that the release date, the 26th of January of 1700, and this major quake, note the position of Jupiter connected into the nodes as well. Just summarising the video, I do feel that the planetary stations of Uranus as well as the combined planetary geometries and planetary alignments may indicate a potential 7 to 7.3 magnitude earthquake for the Pacific Northwest targeting either the Seattle or the Cascadia subduction zone in the months of April 2025 or in June 2026. So why are planetary retrogrades important? 
it refers to the concept that when a planet appears to move backwards in the sky, it creates an illusion of time seemingly folding back upon itself, as a planet observed to be moving in a different and opposite direction to its usual path, which can be interpreted as a temporary reversal of time from our perspective here on the Earth. But as mentioned earlier, if the heliocentric model is the illusion, then these folds in space are a decoherence or disturbance in our space-time continuum, and not an illusion. When we look at a star in the night sky, we are actually seeing the light that left the star years ago because of the vast distance it has to travel to reach the Earth, essentially giving us a glimpse of the past of that star. The further the star is, the further back in time we are actually seeing it. During a thunderstorm, the sound of thunder comes much after the flash of lightning because light travels significantly faster than sound. Essentially, you see the lightning almost instantly, while the sound of thunder takes time to reach you due to its slower speed through the air. I do feel that the retrograde movements of the planets are a direct correlation into geophysical events felt here on the Earth, much like how solar winds emitted from a coronal hole formation just takes a few days to reach the Earth. I feel that the retrograde movement is a scratch in the celestial symphony above that will eventually arrive through space and time, and as direct translation come upon reconnection through the Sun-Earth system. That concludes this important video regarding the potential for a major earthquake event for the Pacific Northwest. Thanks for watching.